today's video, I try to survive 100 days on this Minecraft War SMP server. Basically, a server-wide Minecraft resource war. The rules are simple. We split off into three teams of 15 players. There's the Americans, the British, and the French. Each team only has 100 Minecraft days to try and fill their vaults with as much iron, gold, and diamond blocks as possible while at war with the other teams. Not to mention, each player only has three lives. After the third life is gone, that player is banned from the server forever. In other words, I've created the perfect scenario for 100 days of absolute chaos. The teams were transported to their vaults and began their first objective, securing a base around their vault and making it as difficult to enter as possible. Unfortunately, a few players died due to parachute failure. We call this uh, natural selection. <laughs> oh shoot, there's a wolf, there's a wolf. I was on the uh, American team. Hello? Is anybody here? It's a chest. Our vault was located in the middle of a mob infested abandoned city, which did have a lot of chests to loot. Yo, just got a bunch of gear. Chow, chow, chow. I do not have a gun. Okay. Baby zombie, baby zombie. Don't worry, I'll get it. I do not have a gun. <sighs> Oh, that's a case. Surviving 100 days in normal Minecraft is hard by itself. Okay, now imagine trying to survive 100 days on a, a war server with OP mobs. This, this was not going to be easy. Okay, we were going to have to be smart and intentional with every decision we make. All right, we need to set up a chain of command. Everyone, line up by me. I'm going to be the leader of America. Marine soldiers. Yeah. We set up a chain of command and began cautiously looting the city. Oh. Yo, I got an M16. Oh my gosh. Oh, this was a good chest. So the trick is to shift the, the chest outside. Smart, man. Look at that. Wait, guys. Who died right there? Look, they had a diamond backpack. Wait, wait. Look at all that stuff in there. Bro, I got the backpack. Let's go. Oh, there's a gun right there. They have a shotgun too. Don't die. Don't die. All right. A lot of people are dying. <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm actually gonna die. There's no way. Oh, shoot. Yeah, like I said, these mobs are just OP. They had these special abilities. And now I only have two lives before I would potentially get banned forever. The problem was our vault was in the middle of the city where all the mobs spawned. And so after retrieving my loot, we blocked off the entrances to the buildings so the mobs couldn't get out. Nope. Close this one in. <laughs> Now that we slowed down the mobs, we were able to shift our attention towards our real enemies, the British and the French. They could attack us at any moment. Aside from a few basic weapons with little ammo, the majority of us were pretty much defenseless. Not to mention our vault was completely exposed. And so we began digging out a small base near our vault where we could temporarily start setting up some basic operations. Also, I got uh, 14 iron blocks. Should we place them in our, our vault? Yeah, I'll, I'll go do that. Now that we had some iron blocks in our vault, we were officially on the leaderboard. Now, at this point, I wasn't sure if the other team had any resources in their vaults yet, but it seemed we weren't alone in our struggle to fend off the mobs. Oh, oh no. Oh, my God. <laughs> this thing blew up. You'd think it'd be easier since we had better weapons, oh, but this war server was not for the weak. You must be smart and quick-witted, but most importantly, you need to be constantly aware of your surroundings. Timber! Oh, Ultra got banned. Oh, the band hammer has spoken. No way. Already. All right, guys, we're going to do some rolls here. So, um, I'm at one life, so don't put me anywhere. Back at the American base, we split into groups. While others mined and began crafting weapons and ammo, a few of us worked on building a giant protective lair around the vault. Josh. Yeah? How do you make reinforced stone? Uh, you get stone, you reinforce it. We wanted to turn the cobblestone into reinforced cobblestone, which is really hard to break. And so we went mining for diamonds so we could craft a diamond block reinforcer. I'm going to jump in. <laughs> do it, you won't. Oh, no one. <laughs> Josh, trying to murder your own teammate. <laughs> He's actually gonna I feel like we're gonna find these diamonds. Yes, I found them. We got diamonds. Hey, look at this. I'm built like this. After crafting the diamond block reinforcer and reinforcing the cobblestone wall, I decided to test a grenade on my teammates. I, I must have a rifle. I don't know oh, why. Sure. 
anyways, I worked on our base and it seemed the uh, the British had made good progress on their base. Let's go by any chance at the lineup. Mystic Tien, the leader of the British team, has a notorious reputation for becoming OP very quickly due to his extensive knowledge about Minecraft mods and unique ability to grind for hours and hours at a time. Paired with the British co-leader Cybern underscore Guardian, was no doubt the British team were going to be difficult to fight against. And it seemed a fellow American soldier by the name of Deloney thought the same and decided he'd be better off joining the British team. Please let me join you. Please. Oh my god, Josh is a menace. He keeps killing us all and then we're, got, we're, all, we're all getting blown up and stuff. I don't believe you. I can't just I'll be a hard worker. I'll be a hard worker. Hold on. I have seen firsthand what Josh can do during the dino event. How about this? How about this? How about this? Come with us. Come with us. Oh my god, it's a goose. Okay, so tell us anything that has happened. <laughs> Bro, if you're gonna fight the USA, you're winning. You're winning. You're winning. Yep. We they, we just have a cobblestone thing covering the vault. Uh, there's nothing mm -hmm. in the vault. Josh is a, a huge traitor. He, I have proof of him blowing us up and then leaving. Completely unaware, Delo Neat had gone a wall and become a traitor. It seemed the French had also made some progress, managing to fully wrap their vaults in a layer of obsidian. Tensions were rising. Now that enough time had gone on for teams to equip themselves and stock up on resources in their vault, subconsciously. Everyone knew we were nearing a point of no return. War was coming. In fact, I was bringing it. Alright guys, we're gonna dig a secret tunnel to the base. Everyone follow me, follow me. Uh, you're gonna die by my hand. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Is it just us four? We need, we need to keep track. It's us four. We got this. We planned to execute a stealth mission to raid the French vault. The problem was the French vault was located in the middle of the ocean with only a small road connecting it. I wanted to see if we could somehow get inside their vault and take their resources without them even noticing me. Now, uh, actually pulling that off, well, that that's a different story. So if we get to that island, we could probably dig to them without them knowing. Should we boat there? Over there? Uh, yeah. Yep. Let's make some boats. Let's do yeah, it. Wait. Uh, I don't feel like I'm swimming in shark infested waters. waters. Once we get close, I remember they can hear us. So here's the plan. We're going to dig, build up straight be under, and try and get into it from the bottom while shifting without them noticing. Just be super quiet. That's all we need to do. I'm unplugging my mic. I don't trust myself. Someone just said in chat, where are you, Josh? Hold on. I think it's right over here. Oh, I see him. I see him. Right I see here. Him. Hold on. Shift, shift, shift. I can see him. Yeah, they're on the end of the, end of the bridge. Oh, I know what we can do. We go to the bridge and then we'll dig straight from there. There's one. Shift. Don't break it, don't break stop, it. Stop, stop, stop. Wait, wait. Stop. I said we dig under. Let's go under. There's five people. Some of them are pretty close. While I swam towards the vault, my teammates distracted the French. They know we're here. In the water. They're in the water. They're coming. We are under attack. Someone got a shot on. Kill on side. Deloney lost his last life to a spider and got banned. That's what he gets for being a traitor. And now, I was directly under the French vault, separated from my team. But I had a mission. I wasn't leaving until I had all of the French's resources in my inventory. Barely able to hold in my laugh as someone got banned. I mined the obsidian directly under their vault. It was close, and my heart was absolutely pounding. Yo, who wants to check under the bridge, bro? There's more of them. Someone check under the bridge. Tiger Nick is still here somewhere by the radar. He was just up here. I don't have any. It seemed I was in some sort of underground base near their vault. Not what I expected, but it meant I was even closer. The problem was, I didn't hear them saying they had some sort of radar. Wait, you have a radar? Yes, I put up two I told them to make radar. radar. Who's in here? Who's our, who's our man in the chair? <laughs> I need armor! Matt, do you have armor for me or not? Uh, just uh, get cobblestone inside the hole. Oh gosh, come on. No, I'm not letting that Oh, my heart's pounding. They're shooting at me. My heart's pounding. I got all the diamonds. My heart was racing. No doubt the whole French team was after me, and I was stranded in the middle of the ocean. I gotta just keep swimming. I need a boat. No, the boat's sinking. What? I was stalked for a while by a player named Just underscore Matt. I was gonna die. I thought I was gonna die. I thought that was it. I made my way back to the American base to regroup with my team. Hello? Oh my I'm alive. I got all the diamonds. I got all the diamonds. While it may have cost our team a few of their lives, ultimately the mission was a success. The French were now set back and us Americans were now further in the lead. Of course, this puts a giant target on us. So we needed to somehow get one step ahead of the other teams. We needed intel. Josh, I got a mini bird. 
A what? Helicopter. <gasps> you made this? Yeah. Luckily, Think Waffles made a helicopter, and so we prepared to go scout out the British base. Oh, guys, I see a base. Oh, where? I think this is British. This is British. Oh, I see someone. Do you think they see us? Of course, the British yeah. castle. All right, so it's clear they got they got set up pretty good. But I don't know. I feel like their vault's still pretty vulnerable from the top. British build a castle, not very. We need some rockets. You just blow in through the top, and then you then you're in. Oh yeah, for sure. Josh, I just say like crash onto the fort. Yeah, we just need some. We need a Flans modern weapon box, the advanced one, then we can make C4. It seemed as if the British had set up some decent walls around their vaults, but left it vulnerable from the top. This was actually really good to know. I immediately knew. An airstrike was probably the best plan of action. Unfortunately, as we flew back to our base, my second in command, Waffles, experiences a, a major skill issue. Yeah, I lived this earlier today. Oh, oh, gosh, gosh, this. Oh, no. No. Waffles right, did not. He I, I'm did gonna not. Stop. I'm gonna stop skill issue. Everyone in chat, please comment L, skill issue, waffles. Anyways, as we began working on a plan to attack the British base, a random rogue trader by the name Duck Lord approaches us. I was suspicious, but I wanted to at least hear what he had we to say. We are Lord. the traders. We're a group of players who joined a little too late, don't actually wait, have a team. Wait, wait. I saw you on the French. You what kidnapped me. Oh, no, that's I awkward. I heard you at the French. You Duck, you talk to me. What do you want? Hello, sir. We are just traders. I came here to come and say, hello, and make good friendships. Obviously, I have not attacked or kidnapped anyone here. It's not actually that obvious considering, you know, he just said you did, but. But listen, sir, I, I wanna, we can talk to the French, sir. We can talk to the French. I have no team with them. I've, I'm not on their side. I've not participated in any thing like that. The longer you s say you haven't done these things, the more I'm starting to think it you may, have. It makes, yeah. You, know, it, you guys it, get what I'm saying? You, you know what I'm saying? But, but what do you want right. from us is what, I, is, is what I'm saying. No, literally, I point. came down here. We are traders. We're trying to give you items and guns. And what stuff. do you want? Uh, what do you want to what trade? You give us? So, mainly just guns, um, and probably- <laughs> Your alarm. <laughs> alarm. I know, I know it went off at a wor the worst timing time. So, can, what you, will you, give can us? you show me like one item that you might trade? Um, I'll be honest, this man was real suspicious. My gut was saying I couldn't trust this guy, and so I led him to a basement and threw a grenade at him. Bye bye. Oh, he's he didn't guy. blow up. He didn't blow up. He's getting up. He's going away. He's escaping. All right, let him leave. Let him leave. All right, well, we just made more enemies. So now the grenade doesn't want to explode, people. Okay, but when I throw it at my team, all right. Okay. Yeah, my British, British. She wasn't what about you, little quacky duck. After making fun of this British person, we worked on further gearing up. Little did we know, in the meantime, the French leader Ace Gaming had been plotting a revenge attack on us. Hey, where? Go up the roof. Go up the roof. Go up the roof. Go up the roof. Yo, this is Jet. This is Jet. Oh, Dark, Dark just got banned. Oh, the band hammer has spoken. There he is, there he is. It's Ace, it's Ace! Go, oh, oh, he fell, he fell, he fell, huh? I love this American day. Oh, He's stuck in the house. He fell out. Yes, he got him! Josh, here's your Barrett, here's your Barrett, Josh. Yes! We got Ace! We got lucky he crashed his jet. Sadly, soon after, an American soldier got shot and banned from the Ryan server. Ryan got banned, guys! Niku uh, just oh, killed Ryan! The band hammer has spoken! Thank you for your service, Ryan1015. As the war goes on, we fight in remembrance of you, my dear friend. I may or may not have recently acquired an F-22 Raptor Oh yes. my gosh. Should I, go, should I go try and find it? Waffles crafted me an F-22 Raptor, and so I went out for a test flight. Alright, let's try this jet out. See if I still got it. Here we go. Maybe let's get a parachute in hand. All right, we're in a jet. Let's see how this goes. I want to go to the uh, British base. Hold on. There it is. Take a look. All right, I see some people. I'll be honest. This thing was awesome, and I got a bit too excited and oh, no. decided to launch damage. a few missiles at the British base. I don't know if I hit anyone. So go back around. Oh, no. We're out of bullets? That's when I spotted an enemy jet. Yo, who's in this jet? Who's in this jet? More missiles. Oh, we have just a few more. All right, where was that person in the jet? We only have two shots, so we're gonna have to make it count. There's the jet, there's the jet. There they are. You're not gonna outmaneuver me. 
no way that didn't hit. I'm out of bullets now. I had run out of missiles, and so I headed back to our base to restock. Unfortunately, that meant the enemy jet was still out there and could strike at any moment. We geared back up again and set out for another mission to attack the British. However, as I was on my way to the British base, I spotted the French working on a jet in their runway. And I thought it was the perfect time to attack. Yo, 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 I just found French with their jet. I'm gonna shoot it. I got Nathan, I got Nathan. I got Minecraft. After doing some damage, I headed towards the British base to help my team. We launched an air siege on the British. It's so hard because you go so fast in the jet. Minecraft's out. He's man. Oh, the man hammer has spoken. Should I? I think I need to la land my jet. I wanted to see if I could get close and loot the British vault. And so I tried to land my jet. Oh, shoot. What's going on? Oh, I got it. I got it. I'm stranded now, though. As if my jet glitching wasn't unlucky enough, this happens. Oh no! What? Mystic, Mystic just one shot me. I now only had one life left. Now things got serious. I got my gear and headed back to our base to regroup. Dude, the British are smart. They are smart. I think the main issue is we don't have enough bombs. Okay, so it's clear that uh, we're going to need to up our game if we're going to try to attack the British. I wanted to lead my team into a glorious victory. And I can't do that if I get banned. So I decided to take our security up a notch and crafted a security camera for inside the vault. That way I could monitor it in case anyone's dumb enough to try and steal. From All right, now I got the perfect view. After I set up the security camera, a British soldier suspiciously approaches our base, saying he wanted to join our team. I need help. What do you What do you want? Come with me. Come with me. Come with me. Well, um, the British they're not very nice. I can't lie. They want to attack you later, like later on in the session. Uh, huh. I kind of don't want that to happen. I just want to leave the British. I can't lie. But you are British. He's, he's I know, but British. it's annoying. Yeah, but he... they play they play crab rave every five seconds. <laughs> That's not I mean, the worst. It could be. Mm -hmm. Mystic. Oh, waffles. Yeah, let's, let's take the business outside, guys. Let's take the business outside. Yeah. I want to join your team. What do you guys think? Well, I mean... I want you to help us trap Mystic. You guys know what a cage trap is, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, just make him walk over a cage trap. Just yeah, they want to yeah, put you yeah. in one of them. Do you think Mystic would suspect you Would you if you tried to lead him somewhere? No, so what they think is going to happen is that you guys are going to come from the underground train tracks, and they're going to put bombs in them. I actually have information about Mystic's whereabouts. He's been hanging out with the French. I hate the well, French, Well, this is getting... Man. This is getting carried away He here. had a lot to say about how he didn't like the way things were being run at the British base. And well, I figured we could use as much help as we could get. Plus, he had insider information that could be useful later on. And so I agreed to let him join our team as long as he helps us trap the British leader Mystic. The only problem was the thought that this could all be some plan for the British to infiltrate my base didn't cross my mind at the time. LG Tristan could be a British spy, and I wouldn't even know. And he now has free access to our base. Anyways, after I built a runway for my jet, Waffles and I headed towards the British base in an attempt to place turrets directly in front of it. The only problem was getting close enough to actually placing them and not getting blown to smithereens. Oh shoot! Oh no! How are we gonna escape? I would recommend getting on top of here so the zombies can't shoot at you. Nice, you banned someone, Inferno Nightmare. I put them last time too. Oh shoot the zombie! Yeah, get on top of the get on top of the thing. I killed another one. I think they're all dead. We managed to take out a bunch of the British. Now we just had to get close enough to place the turrets. Alright, let's go get the sentry down. I'm gonna die to the mob. I'm gonna die to the thing. No. Shoot. Waffles died. I was now alone and stranded on the British island. I had no choice but to try my best to get Waffles items and somehow escape back to the American base. The only problem was time was ticking. The British were coming. We know you're in there. Come out with your hands up without a weapon in your hand. We're willing to talk. I had nowhere to go. I was completely surrounded. You can win this. Come out. All right, I'll come out. I'm coming out. It's coming out. Don't just promise not to him, shoot. Don't shoot. We know you're in there. Oh, come on. Here we go. Yes. Yes. See you later, suckers. All right, time to finish what we started. Attack! Woohoo! Let's go! Time for revenge. I got a computer king. Oh, he got banned. He got banned. <laughs> oh. The banned hammer has...
smoking. I headed back to base and gave Waffles his items back. All right, Waffles, I have your bag. Oh, let's go. The rockets from the last air raid had made the British vault vulnerable from the top, and so we prepared for another mission to go loot the British vault and finish what we had started. Oh, there's so many people. All right, guys, we're going to do a secret attack, all right? And we're going to dig into their vault. Uh, they the British base. Hey, get out, get out, get out. Go, go, go. Okay, hold on, guys. Go down, go down, go down. Hey, Waffles, dig, 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 dig. Waffles, get in. In fear of getting one shot like last time, I decided to try and dig into the island. I don't see it. Where are they? Cybern's coming. Wait, they're all coming. They know we're here. They know? No, they got case. Okay, okay, we, we gotta just go for it. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Shh, we gotta be really quiet. Yo, right here. Waffles and I managed to dig directly under the British vault. Being this close in enemy territory meant every move we made was a matter of life and death. Especially since I only had one life left. Waffles, oh, like this way. All right. Okay, we're gonna move bases. We can't stay here. Yeah, we can't. Waffles, Shoot, Waffles, Waffles, they see us. Run, run, Waffles, come He's on. in the base. He's in the base. Oh, no. He went under. He went under. Waffles. Waffles, get back here. No, no, I, I gotta go. I gotta go. Waffles, not. Hit Waffles, not. What, waffles, you good? Yeah, I got him. I got him both. Waffles, go! I killed both of Mystic and him. Two of them. That was a close call. But even as we headed back towards our base, they were still shooting at us. Haha, <laughs> get ready! We spotted Cyber British two. second in command, player Cybern underscore Guardian. And so we captured him as a prisoner of war. We're gonna force you to make us crumpets and tea. Oh, no. Don't try anything funny, or else this is gonna be you. I'm not, I'm not trying to do anything funny. Why are you British? Tell me. <laughs> Because I, was born, because I was born in England. Something about that seems suspicious. We brought Cybern back to the American base and put him in jail. Hey, get in here, in it? Oh, oh you're, you're sending him in with the monsters. Oh, Listen, <laughs> have fun with the monsters. Hello, I'm Fresh. Hello, I'm Oh, I dropped my shmi. Does it feel like having free health care? As we questioned Cyburn, he surprised me by saying yeah. this. Hey, hey, I know what the British uh, and the French are planning. They are planning to merge their bases together. The There's no way, bro. The British and French hate each other. There's no way. I wasn't sure what to think. I mean, if the French and the British team merge, that could make things way more difficult for us. But I didn't have too much time to think it over. A French jet began circling our base. Oh shoot, yeah, right there! Oh my gosh. Did Nitro, did he die? Yeah, he ends up crashing the jet and getting banned from the server. After the visit from the French pilot, I decided to go and show the French how an American enters enemy airspace. Alright, Frenchies. Time to take the old baguette for a spin. They just got banned! No way, Mystic banned already. The ban hammer has spoken. Woo! Ho -ho! And he gone. And we got him. Since I did so much damage, I decided to push my luck and try to approach the French vault alone. Definitely not the smartest thing to do, considering I only had one life left. What was I thinking? Hey, ah, CZ! With nowhere else to go, I dive no. into the water. They coming for me. I got him. After I sniped the French player, I hopped into my jet and began circling the French base. Once again, pushing the limits of my luck, I got too close and this happens. What? <laughs> Yo. Screw it. Let's see if I can get into the French vault. Where's all my stuff? I need my stuff. I was now stranded directly under multiple French players and they knew I was there. I was surrounded. It was at this point I, I knew I had gone too far. Grab resources and we gotta get out of here. They won't expect us to be back at the old base. This is when the worst possible thing happens. Not only is this the moment I realized the British and the French teams were now combining into one, but they also decided they were going to mine the entire French vault and bring everything to the British base. The problem was I was standing inside the vault. Yeah, okay, yeah, get the iron, get the obsidian on the vault too. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's move. They kept just breaking block after block. And I was just sitting there thinking to myself, there's no way I'm getting out of this alive. Here, give me the resources. I'll pull, it, pull them in this bag. I'll put them in this I bag. I was just waiting for the next block they broke to somehow reveal me. But if that happened, I wasn't going down without a fight. Guys, get in. Let's go. We're leaving. Retreat to a different base. Let's go. In. Oh, look at the arc. <sighs> Come on. Aim and fire. No! I didn't have any ammo. No way. Oh, Shadow Wolf. Uh, come here. Oh, you're doomed, buddy. Oh, you're not escaping, buddy. Oh, he just got wrecked. Gotta get to the boat. 
Now I gotta make it home. After somehow escaping alive, I headed back to the American base to update my team on what had happened. So guys, I just got intel that they took basically all the blocks from the French vault, and they're now combining teams at the British base. The teams merged in hopes the players would end up in the surviving team and, you know, win the challenge. But that, of course, meant they would have to somehow either steal all the resources in our vaults or mine a lot quickly, too. So we made sure to put turrets in our vault to make it more secure. What do you want to know? Everyone, what do you want up. to know? Uh, well, I said I'm ready <laughs> Who do you think our biggest threat is, threat is right now? No one. Uh, really? there's only one team they combined, so the British, French. Um, After waiting around our base for a while, well, we thought to ourselves we could either play it safe and just wait around protecting our vaults until the 100 days is up, uh, or, you know, we could go try and eliminate the French Brits, banning them all from the server, saving us time, and, you know, that sounds way more fun. Everyone, attention right now! Focus okay. up. We're nearing the end of our battle. We fought long and hard. But as Americans, there's one thing that we need to be careful of. It's Wendy's and Arby's. But besides that, we got to make sure we hold strong until the very end. All right, boys. Buckle up. And let's go to war. Ah! The Golden King and I loaded up into a chopper and made our way to the French Brit base. All right, Josh, I'll remember you if you die. I'll probably forget you if I die. Okay. Well, I'll be dead. Well, no, I'm, I'm gonna die in your honor, dude. Oh, I see people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, watch out. They have a. They have something that can shoot us down. <laughs> I see Ace. I see Ace. I think I'm out of bullets. Go, go, up, 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 up. I'm out of bullets. All right, all right. Oh, Goldie, Goldie, Goldie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you? I fell out. You good? Alright. Got him. Got him. I got him! He's got banned! Oh, the band hammer has spoken! There were only a few players left. Then I saw Waffles was in trouble. So much right now. Can I have my guns back or no? You can get the guns you picked up, but that's all. Drop your weapons! Yeah, whoa, 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 we, we, let, we let Waffles get his weapons back. Weapons. Yeah. Hey, hey! No. <laughs> no, did Waffles get banned? No, Waffles is gone! The hammer has spoken. I stole the rest of the resources in their vault and met up with the rest of my team. We loaded up in the chopper and flew back to our base. There she is, home sweet home. There she is, set her down nice and gentle. I'm bad. What's up? Welder boy's What's up? here, but I don't know where. Yeah, apparently there was an enemy nearby. Now, there were only about five enemies left at this point. So, while a few teammates stayed back to protect our vault, the Golden King and I set out to see if we could locate any of the remaining. Enemies. It's hunting season, boys. All right, you ready, Josh? Let's go. Oh, I see people. Yep, I see them too. Land on top. Land on top. Are we jumping out? Yeah. Nasa was trying to escape in an abandoned jet, but I wasn't gonna let that Shoot happen. Shoot an RPG. I'm breaking in. I'm breaking in. I got him. After sniping right, Nasa Whipper, I spotted here. another enemy attempting to run away. <gasps> I see him. Wait, he's a, he's a tree bush guy. Yeah, they're all retreating. Oh, it's Blazing Pig. I guess we're having bacon. There is. Got him. <laughs> he's bad. He's bad. He's bad. Then the Golden King mentioned he noticed Not Go Gaming was nearby. Josh, Not Go Gaming. He's down here. My golden senses are tingling. Look, see, I see him. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Golden senses never fail. We tried our best to search for him, but it looks like he used these underground railways to escape. Josh, I don't think he's here. I bet I, he went I, into this forest. We ended up in this forest where I let my intrusive thoughts get the best of me once again, and, well. Uh, what's this? You know what this is called. It's a abandoned site. <laughs> Doesn't look familiar. You remember? No. You know exactly why I brought you here. <laughs> I, I I don't know what you're talking about, Josh. Um. <sighs> oh, revenge. I, I I I I don't remember what you're talking about. <laughs> 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 I'm not letting this happen again. I shot Golden King, but why? Something was wrong with me. I acted like I was just messing around so Golden King wouldn't be too upset. But from this moment on, I knew deep down, I was a changed man. 
We continue the search for Not Goat Gaming, only to witness another teammate's death. Oh, oh, someone just fell off a jet. No! no! QT just got banned! The ban hammer has spoken. <gasps> Josh, Josh, Josh. My golden senses are going off again. There's someone in that village. Right after QT dies, Golden King says he spotted someone in a nearby village. Oh, someone's here. It's Not Goat. It's Not Goat. He's right there. I told you. Oh no. God, oh, get wrecked, boy. Get wrecked. Oh, the bad hammer has spoken. Yeah, this was not good. While I was trying to find my way back to my base, I saw an enemy get into a jet. Long story short, I ended up getting into a jet that had a broken wing and forced to parachute out. And after finally making it back to the American base, I get notified there's an enemy nearby. Guys, the other boy's here. Really? Yeah, he's popping up yeah, on, he's our on our radar. Who's shooting? What was that? Well, the boy is gone. Nice. The bad hammer has spoken. Our teammate Galatian Stan manages to take out Welder Boy. You'd think I'd be happy, right? Well, maybe I was. But for some reason, as Galatian Stan returned to our base, once again, I, I let the darkness take control of me. Another teammate banned forever. And for some reason, I didn't care. Perhaps I was getting too cocky. I thought we had this in the bag. Of course, the war wasn't over yet, and anything could still happen. One thing is for sure, I wasn't who I used to be. Uh, Welder, remember Welder got killed. Oh yeah. Wait! The bad hammer has spoken. There I went again, murdering my teammates for absolutely no reason. You might think this time it was an accident, but I knew shooting an RPG straight up into the air above my teammates would have its consequences. All actions have consequences, and I certainly was no exception. My remaining teammates were now afraid of me. When I started this war, I saw myself as a leader who would do whatever it takes to protect my teammates and lead them into a glorious victory. I was a man of virtue and integrity, who believed in doing the right thing no matter how difficult it was. But now, I had gone from a respectable leader to an enraged psychopath, no. numb to the core. The terrors of war had turned me into a stone-cold killer. I lost sight of the objective. Depressed, guilt-ridden, and void of purpose, I decided to put an end to the war in my mind.